family, how are you? Welcome, welcome back. So happy to see you. My name's Ariel, and you'll find anything makeup or beauty related here. News, you know, cheese met, anything here, reviews, indie makeup, big brands, anything like that. That's what my channel's about. So today I am happy to show you BAM! <laughs> this Nueva Vida palette by Stephanie here on YouTube, Instagram. If you don't know her, definitely I will put up her information. I recommend you go to her for uh, reviews on all new makeup, very informative. And she collaborated with Gourmandi Girls Cosmetics. I do have a code with them. If you are interested in any of their makeup, you can use code EARTH. I purchased this palette. I had to support my friend. She's been so kind. I've seen her grow from, you know, not so many like subscribers and people uh, that now she has. Like she's blowing up and I'm so happy for her. And she has her own palette, Nueva Vida. I have been wearing this since I got it so I can give a thorough review. And my face is ready. The only thing that's not done is my lips and my eyes. And I have to match my outfit today. So here's the inside. I will throw up some swatches I did that I have also on our Instagram as well. Okay, already, I love colorful makeup, okay? I love the colors, beautiful inside. Every eyeshadow in here that I've swatched, it was so soft. And what I've been using is trying to like get all the colors and see how I like them. So I have actually used every single color in this palette and today, since I want to match my outfit, I want to use H2O, which is this blue that matches my outfit, and Dreamer, because I love purple. I love all things purple, except that ugly purple. You know what I'm talking about. And I think I want to do the convertible for inner corner or vacay all day. I haven't decided, but I know what I'm doing. So let's get on to it. Today I'm gonna to be using my Singe Beauty brushes. I love this E04. It's for like packing on some shimmers and I also like to use it for like shadows I put in the inner part portion of my eye. So I wanna use H2O and put it just like that in the inner portion of my eye. It's gonna be like a simple, simple look, but it's still glam, you know, still like, oh my God. And I like to drag my eyeshadow down here um, I just love that type of look. So you're gonna pack it on and then you can just like blend it out how you want it. With the shape of your eye, I recommend don't like close it so much. Your eye, even with lashes, slightly like 75% close a little bit. And I couldn't find my primer, so I put a concealer on, which I don't recommend because usually concealers are not good for like priming eyes and they're like, a bit too greasy for me as you can see like it's already like kind of creasing so I have to like pat it out pat it out and the eyeshadow is kind of gonna set it ah <sighs> this is like short notice when I can't find I almost freaked out threw all my makeup out of like my makeup box because I couldn't find my primer okay I'm gonna go in with an E05 from Singe Beauty and I'm gonna get that dreamer which is that light colored purple and I just like want to put it all over the last portion of my eye. So easy to blend. This is what I like about the Gourmandi uh, Girls Cosmetics eyeshadow. It's like so easy and soft. So the top eyeshadow I like to use from my like top brands are Adept Cosmetics, Unearthly, Gourmandi Girls here today, and Shroud Cosmetics, Copacetic Cosmetics, um, I think, oh, Odin's Eye, like those are like my top ones that I've like really, like said, wow, like the shades, the blendability, the uniqueness uh, comes out. And don't forget to blend I like to blend a little bit out without applying more eyeshadow. And I haven't done my eyebrows, girl. So I have all this hair that can affect your blending. I'm serious. 
And then I like to bring that shade a little bit into the blue up here. And then I'm gonna, with the same brush, because sometimes I don't like to switch my brushes out, E05, get H2O again and fill it in that space that I left out. I'm loving that. And look, getting that small bit of H2O that was on there and putting it on the outside just to blend it and it's like blending out into a beautiful color putting more of that dreamer I went in lightly and I feel like I blended it out it needs a little bit more build up that's the shade that needs a little bit more because it's so light but I'm already loving it and then each joke that I lost it there And this is not even with my white white primer. This is concealer and the shades are pretty popping. Okay, with that E04, because uh, I can't find any other brushes, I'm gonna actually put H2O right here and blend it out on my lower lid. And then I'm putting Dreamer in the inner portion of my lower lid. I think I like doing like opposite things. Oh, that is pretty. And sometimes like if I want to go for an even more dramatic look, I like I'll put another third color here. Debating if I should do that. Okay, you know what? I want to do Dr. Far. Just a little and it's like a darker purple. I like to emphasize, I don't know, my eye pads. I don't know if that's how you say it. <laughs> but yeah, just like a little bit of that and brush it out. Put back some H2O just to let it pop. Put back some Dreamer. Add another little bit of Dr. Far just to emphasize that purple. Oh, yes. Very cute. Now, I don't have my glitter glue so I'm gonna see how this pops out without the glitter glue I usually use glitter glue all the time so I'm gonna do the convertible and see how that looks in the inner corner oh that's a pretty stark white great inner corner yeah I don't think I even need that glitter glue and maybe i should put some usually i don't highlight my brow bone but i kind of like this shimmer oh okay cute loving that i think i want to add a pink you know eyeliner let me get it okay so i have the is there a name for this oh my gosh where is it I know this is from ColourPop. I will try to pop up the name. I hate that when the labels come off so easily. Like, it literally came off so easily. I'm gonna add that. It's like a light pinkish. It looks like it has like a purple undertone. Okay, love that. I'm gonna put some mascara on. I'm actually testing out this e.l.f. one. I've been testing out a few days. I like it because my essence, I noticed that that crumbles to my face. Um, I liked it for a little bit and then it started to like crumble on my face, even new ones. And it, it wasn't like my mascara was old. Um, so I'm kind of like, mm, I kind of want to try other mascaras because the best one so far was the Benefit one I had, which I'll have to pop up because I forgot the actual name of it. But I always get the sample size because I'm like, dude, that's not worth the money. And so now I'm doing this e.l.f., which is like totally a good price for me. And it's actually been so pretty and I haven't had flaking issues. Like when you wear it for a long time and all of a sudden you see all this black down there or like specks. 
and it makes my lower lashes so cute but if you mess up like me and have mascara try to rub it off or hide it with more of the eyeshadow shade okay so this side is done i am gonna go ahead and get a lippy to match finish the other side and come back and tell you what i think about this palette with gourmandy girls cosmetics and stephanie here on youtube i'll be right back so i'm back and i put a lippy and the lippy combo is my mora lip liner in sandy brown and you can use code earth 15 to save on any mora cosmetics and then I have the NYX Fat Oil. And this is one of my favorites. This is scrolling. This combo, like, come on. It makes my lips look so juicy. I love it. I love it. I'm putting that to the side. Let's talk about the Nueva Vida. Okay? First of all, I want to say congratulations to Stephanie. You did it, girl. I love this palette. Every single shade I have used. And all of it is a great pigment payoff on the lids. Even, like, right now. I don't even have my actual primer that I use that is like a really light base to, you know, pop out all the colors. It's just a concealer I use. And look at that. It's so cute. It pops. Um, they're very, like, soft, super easy to blend shades. So even the darkest shades I used, and I'll throw some pics up of, like, uh, pictures that I've used with all these shades. I think I would have to say my favorites would be the Weekend Vibes Que Padre. This one and this one, and I do like the, of course, all the purples in here. Um, this is slightly darker than this. I think the only thing I would say was like, maybe make this a different um, undertone or something super like, I don't know how to say it, like more different than, than this, it's just darker. But I do see the need for this to deepen up maybe this shade for like an all over um, purple look. Uh, because then you have the shimmer to go with it and the layout i don't know if people don't like i'm i don't know if people don't like this layout i like it because it makes some of these colors pop and it makes it more like i don't know edible to me like you know how you with your eyes like every time i look at a palette i'm like <gasps> i want to like double take and like almost like want it want it this layout worked for me a lot of uh, shades popped out to me like this 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 of course the brighter shades here Overall, this palette is amazing. Even the mirror, it's great if you just want like to focus on the eyes. That's where I can see my whole face like this, okay? I can't see like the whole like overall face, which I don't need. I need to focus on my eyes. I would say um, I do love the Nueva Vida, okay? I love that name for it. I love the shades in here, the blendability. The color selection is just a fun, it's just a fun vibe. Congratulations. And I would recommend this palette because every single shade, it worked. It didn't have an issue. It blended well. Uh, it looks well on my skin. Um, I even have swatches on deeper skin tone. Um, so if you're interested, you can go to Motivate the Earth News Instagram and you'll find them there. And what do you think about this look? And that is all for today. I hope you liked my look and me talking about this palette. Again, highly recommend that brand. I haven't had a dad yet. And I like this palette because my girl, she came up with such a good palette. Fun, colorful, so good. Even the brown in here, it goes with all the shades. It goes with the looks that I had. I was thinking, hmm, I don't know about Buster, but I do like Buster. I even used it for my eyebrows today. Well, see you later. Bye, familia. Check us on the other videos and new videos to come, and I'll see you soon.